this is uh, Dr. Derek Mahoney sharing another clinical pearl with you. Uh, in my practice, uh, we have an appointment called a pano-repo appointment. Um, that simply means that while the patient is having their treatment done, we are checking that all the roots of the teeth are parallel, and we're also checking their overbite overjet relationship. So all the records I take before I start a case, photographs, intra or extra oral, radiographs, study models, we repeat at this appointment. Uh, for those doing the Damon system, like myself, normally this appointment is made after the 1825 copper nitide wire has been in the mouth for six weeks. Right? So if we look at this case as an example, this is the pre-treatment um, Panorex, and this is the updated Panorex. So what I'm showing here, if you look at the root of the lateral, uh, tooth number one, two, I will mark on this x-ray that we will need to reposition that bracket to move that root parallel. If you look at the two, two, the root also needs to move distally. Now there's three ways of moving the root distally. The easiest way is to reposition the bracket, but that means you have to take the bracket off, clean the glue, reposition, and step back to another wire. If I want the root of the lateral to move distally, I will put my bracket on tooth one, two more measly. So my bracket points measly, the wire engages it, the root will go distally, okay? The way I do it is when our finishing wires go in, we go from nitai to a wire called TMA, which is beta titanium, and then we use a second order plier. Uh, it's called a Z-bend plier. And the second order plier will put a bend, mesial distal width of the bracket. That bend will allow me to move the root. The higher side of the bend is bent on the opposite side for where you want the root to move. So in this situation, the high side of the Z bed would also go measly if I'm moving tooth one, two. The last way to upright that, if your bracket has a vertical slot, you can use an uprighting spring. But an uprighting spring, you'd need to put the uprighting arm uh, on the distal of the tooth because the root will move in the direction of the uprighting arm. So if I can show that here, effectively if I have a vertical bracket slot, I can drop in my uprighting spring and um, my arm will stick out like that. I'll engage that arm onto the wire. As I do, the same root movement will occur. So uprighting spring with the arm showing the same direction, the way the root to move. The other thing I ask for is a lateral set. Now if you look here, same patient. Here I'm checking the intensizal angle. I want to make sure I have what's called division one. Division one means that the upper and lower incisors should be between 120, 140 degrees. Um, what we've got to be careful of, in this case in particular, lower incisors being proclined. Lower incisors should be about 92 degrees to the mandibular plane. So at this appointment, I have the opportunity, if I need to, to upright. And in my courses, I'll explain to you how we apply torque. Um, I use a, an auxiliary called an art auxiliary, and the art auxiliary would allow me to upright those lower incisors. So before braces come off, I need a good intra-incisor angle, which I check on my lateral sift. I need good torque of my upper and lower incisors. Um, I'd like to have my occlusal plane flattened if it was a high angle patient, etc., etc. And uh, this is just another clinical tip uh, which you'll pick up in my lectures and also in my um, live hands-on workshops to see the importance of what's called the Pano Repo appointment. So I hope you tune in next time when we do another podcast on clinical pearls in full-face orthodontics. Thank you.